Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my one, two, three. Hey everybody, welcome back to Ram TV and welcome back to MLB The Show 19 New York Mets franchise. This is episode 11 and here we are for this May 7th game. But before we get started, uh, one of my viewers, Dirty D252, asked me if I could do, um, if I could show the league leaders and award races um, in the league that's going on right now. So I want to show you the league leaders. Uh, for the National League, so the top three got Marcelo Zuna, Chris Bryant, and e Eugenio Suarez. Uh, for batting average hits is Marcelo Zuna. Uh, for doubles is Christian Yelich. Triples is Michael Conforto somehow. <laughs> and then for home runs, it's Cody Bellinger with 11, followed by Kyle Schwab, who's tied with him, and then Eugenio Suarez from the Reds. Uh, RBI is Marcelo Zuna with 38. And we got... Uh, 28 runs for Matt Carpenter. Uh, now for the American League, let's back it up a little bit. The leading batting average is by Mike Trout, no surprise, batting 364 uh, for hits. Mike Trout with 47. Doubles is on uh, Andreton Simmons, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, with 13. Triples is Ramon Loreno with 3. For home runs, well, it had to be one of the Yankees, John Carlos Stanton with 11. Uh, followed by Randall Grychuk with 10. Uh, in terms of RBIs, it's Giancarlo again with 34, followed by Milky Betts with 29. Uh, let's take a look at the pitching here. And let's push it over. Where is it? Okay, so wins is leading by Kyle Hendricks with 5 wins. Uh, we have Noah Syndergaard tied there with 5. In terms of saves, we got Archie Bradley with 12 saves already. That's crazy. Uh, as well as Kenley Jansen, uh, ERA is Luke Weaver with 1.42 ERA, followed by Jake Arrieta, which is funny because we did beat him up that one game. But still has an ERA of 1.49. We got Luke Weaver giving up no home runs. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got strikeout leader for the NL. We got Walker Bueller, Jimmy Nelson, Jacob DeGrom. Uh, and then we'll go to American League. We got Tyler Skaggs from the uh, Angels with six wins, uh, 13 saves by Will Harris from the Astros leading the way. Rick Porcello with a 1.72 ERA leading the American League. Verlander is only per has only given up one home run the entire season with a 4-1 uh, record. And we got Rick Porcello with two shoutouts this season already. And for the strikeout leader, we got Garrett Cole with 62 strikeouts. He's having himself a heck of a year. And in terms of the awards, let's go here. Um, MVP, Marcel Zuna, followed by his team and Matt Carpenter. Look at Zuna's stats, man. 384, 10 home runs, 38 RBIs. Having a heck of a year. Um, and then for the American League, Mike Trout with three, batting 364, 9 home runs, 28 RBIs, followed by Giancarlo Stanton uh, with an average of 310, 11 home runs, 34 RBIs. For the Cy Young, we got Walker Bueller's 5-0 with a 2.1 ERA, followed by Kyle Hendricks with a 5-1 record, a 2.5 ERA with 44 strikeouts. Um, Tyler Skaggs is the uh, leading Cy Young go-getter uh, go right now early in the season with a 6-1 record with a 2.98 ERA with 43 strikeouts. And for the National League, for batting titles, Marcel Zuna with a 384 average. American League, Mike Trout with 364, as I said earlier. And then reliever of the year, Josh Hader, 11 saves, no earned runs. That's crazy. And then for the American League, we got Kevin McCarthy with seven uh, saves, no earned runs. Uh, rookie of the year, you got P. Alonzo, what up? Batting 295, six home runs, 21 RBIs. Uh, for the American League, we got Justin Diaz, 225 average, three home runs, 14 RBIs. And for the Hank Aaron Award, we got Marcel Zuna with oh, it's just, uh, 10 home runs leading the league. I think he should be able to get more than that. Uh, I think he should be at least over these two guys, which is weird because I think this is uh, a top hitter, yeah. I guess with his average like that, that should really count for something. And then for the American League, we got Aaron Hicks. 339, 9 home runs, 24 RBIs. Uh, let's see here. 
Dan Straley. So it's like the gold, the gold glove award right now. Let's just run through it real quick. Silver Slugger. Okay, so that uh, that is all the league leaders and awards race, uh, whatever's going on right now. So that is that, and here we are for this. No. So that is the conclusion of my league leaders and awards summary. Um, thank you for thank you for the suggestion, Dirty D two fifty two. That sounds so weird, um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna continue on with our game here against the the Padres. We have had a little skid lately. We've lost a lot of games, and we're gonna try to win this one with Jacob Degrom in the mounds, three and three with a three point one ERA. We're gonna try to turn things around and beat Garrett Richards, who's zero and two with a three point eight ERA. So I'll see you guys in San Diego. at all to see him make some noise at the play. So we're gonna miss a high fastball. So long as he's fighting into this one, it was gonna be a low scoring affair. Both of these pitches look like they're locked in early and runs are gonna be really difficult to come by. They both look like they're on point so far. There's a fair ball for Ramos again. He's a little slow. So yeah, holding that first, that was hit way too hard. And they're gonna hold him to a single here. This is gonna be a nice single for Ramos. Anybody else that'd be a double. Well, this was a good start for the pitcher. First five guys. Now the one and one pitch is gonna be a sacrifice attempt as he gets it down. And the ground should be safe on a bunt. He's bumped by the Graham. No, it's just a deep center field. Could be a home run. Oh my gosh. Warning track. You know you're getting a guaranteed fastball. Swing and a miss. And a swing has a two seam. To end the inning to ground with another strikeout. Padres down in order here at first with nobody out. He's gone, he's gone. He's on the move again from first. That is a shot. By Jet Lowry, and this is. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the. Did he catch that? Now this is cut and thrown. Oh my gosh! At the wall, caught for a double play. Oh boy! Just off the plate, just missing the strike zone. That's nearly an unhittable pitch to hit for a hitter. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep. That's a shot by Conforto, and it's out of here. It's a two-run shot. That was a laser beam out of here. That's home run number nine of the year. Again, it's a two-run home run by Conforto. That puts the Mets up two nothing here at the top of the sixth. Two outs. Yeah, I love a team that keeps fighting with two outs like they did here. He just drove that and he got out of here in a hurry. Ready with the two and two. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. Yeah, it's a base hit by Ramos. There you go. Let's keep going. That's going to be a double for Wilson Ramos. Here in the seventh inning with no outs. He just tapped two. Digging in to try it again. Greg Garcia. It's been an important for him to this point. Swung on the fastball and missed. That is out number one here in the seventh inning. The ground was good. Back-to-back -back base hits for the Mets. It's Wilson and Cespedes hitting back-to-back. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Base hit. It's going to be an RBI single for Jed Lowry. The Mets are 3-0 here in the ninth inning with one out. 
Hey, Dero, that's a big Clark's hitting by Jed Lowry to give to the pitchers a bit a more leeway. Good level swing. What a base hit. For count to Diaz. To Machado. That's a swing and a miss by Machado. Ball game over. The Mets win 3 0 with a shutout. It was a heck of a performance, but Jacob DeGrom picking up only two hits. Of course, we did have the home run by Michael Conforto to give us the lead. A two run home run, batting two for four. Wilson Ross batting three for four. Jed Lowry also with the RBI batting two for four. But again, Jacob DeGrom's stat line is two hits, five strikeouts, no earned runs, no walks. What a game for Jacob. That's all we needed to get it back in the groove. Of course, we need to save, but Edwin Diaz getting it for hit, but with two strikeouts. Alright, so now we are tied 1-1 one one here in the series. And what I'm going to do next time is I'm going to be doing, I'm going to do a quick manage. Uh, which will take about 5 minutes. And I will speed things up. Basically, that's what's going to be. I'm going to try to quick manage uh, three games, at least two, at least two games. I'm going to quick manage this game, and then probably play hmm. one of these games here in Miami. I haven't decided yet. I'll be, I'll be definitely quick managing this next episode, and I will figure it out as I go here uh, for the next episode. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my MLB. And we almost said MLB 2K. That would be the show 19, New York Mets franchise. If you guys liked it, click the thumbs up button. I'm trying to at least three to five likes. Leave any comments below. And if you're new, subscribe. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.